Tiny face. Big face. Tiny face. Big face. Red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather. Seesaw, 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 seesaw. That's perfect. Bob Fosse. Gene Kelly. John! Ow! My name is John. And I'm Brandon, and this is the So-and-So Show. Oh, yes, 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 that's true. We, we are here because we have a show to record today, but that's not why I'm here today. Hmm. Huh. Why are you here, John? Well, I, I've heard you're directing a movie. Ah, yeah, it's just something I whipped up. Well, and I wanted to audition. It's called be- Pizza Pie, but it's spelled P-I. It's about a man who discovers the secrets of the universe and how they connect to the amount of toppings put on a pizza. The Pepinacci sequence, if you will. Wow. Yeah, I know. It's all right. No, no. I mean, it's incredible. I, I, I should know. I read it last week. You left it right here on the table with, with that note on top that said, auditions next week, but don't tell John. And, and don't worry, I won't tell the other John. Oh, good. And, and I, I wanted to express my interest in auditioning for the lead role of Chef Hugh Cunningham, if you will. That's not a pizza. That's a pizza pie! Uh Uh-huh. Yeah, here's the thing, John. You know I love you. Yeah? We're best friends, yeah. But I I wasn't planning on having you audition for this part. I mean, you've always been more of the uh, wacky sidekick type. What do you mean? I mean, just look at us. I mean, we fall into the different categories. You're, You're more funny and zany and silly, and I'm... More intelligent and handsome, like a leading man. So you're just gonna cast yourself? Oh, no, no, of course not. I need to focus in on behind the camera. But I do know someone who I think would be great for the part. Uh, yeah? Who is it? Someone, someone rich and famous, like, like Anthony Pulitzer? <laughs> yeah, actually. What? It's time for someone who knows stuff! Come in, come in. Uh, uh, here, Mr. Pulitzer, it is, it is such an honor to have someone of your magnitude uh, be on our show. Thank you so much. Uh, you know, it's no big deal. I'm, I always love a chance to get to interact with my fans. And you know, my publicist says that I need to uh, appear more approachable to the paying customer. Oh, well, you <laughs> certainly are that. So, so approachable. So why am I here? Am I plugging my latest project? No, I, actually, I was, I was hoping we could talk about uh, a, a new project. Oh, what's that? It's called Pizza Pie, uh, and it's the story hey. of... How much does it pay? With there's pay involved? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't see you there. Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, hi, I'm John. I, I'm, I'm the co-host with Brandon of this show, and y- you know what, you know what, you, you better watch out, because I'm, I'm coming for that part. <laughs> no, watch, sorry. watch my smolder, watch, watch. All right, uh, listen, I'm not, I'm not interested in getting involved in your little show or whatever you call it. There's a reason they call me Anthony Pulitzer and you're Jan. John. I'm pretty sure you said Jan. I didn't. Quiet, Jan. What? Just... Brandon? What does this guy have that I don't? <laughs> May I? Uh, oh, uh, yes, please. That's not a pizza, that's a pizza pie. I can't argue with that. That was beautiful. So, 
You're willing to do it? Send an offer to my agent. Um, I don't get out of bed for less than 2.5 and some points on the back end, so. Huh. I don't know what any of those words mean, but I'll be in touch. <laughs> Jan? John. Can you John. believe we were just in the presence of the Anthony Pulitzer? <laughs> and he might do my movie. Well, I'm just disappointed I won't be in it. Ah, oh, yeah, I'm sure you are, bud. But hey, li listen, I might, I might still have a part for you somewhere. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, 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 like the plucky underdog who tries to help Chef Cunningham in his quest for the sauce of truth? No. Yeah? This guy. Oh. Uh, extra cheese, please? Yeah, that guy. He's great. That's his only line. True, but... But what? I'm gonna have to be honest with you. I, I, I'm not entirely sure how I was gonna finish that sentence. This day is the worst. Come on, perk up, John. Things are gonna get better, I'm sure of it. Well, how can you be so sure? Because it's Bible story time with Kellen! Hey guys. Hey Kellen. Hey Kellen. What are you doing here, Brandon? Aren't you supposed to be working on that super cool movie that you're shooting? Oh, I, I just got done casting my lead actor. Which is not a big deal. Who is it? Anthony Pulitzer. R. You kidding me? That's awesome. I even have an Anthony Pulitzer action figure from when he played undercover agent John Proctor in Battery of Hope. Aww. Sorry, John. I know you really want to be in his movie, but hey, I've got a story that might cheer you up. It's a story where things aren't always as they seem. Plus, I'll let you help me out and play the characters. That's perfect. I can show my actorial range. Today's verses are from 1 Samuel 16, 1 through 13. Check it out. Samuel was a prophet chosen by God to anoint the next king of Israel. It seemed the first king wasn't working out so well. So the Lord said to Samuel, Fill your animal horn with olive oil and go on your way. I am sending you to Jesse in Bethlehem. I have chosen one of his sons to be king. But Samuel said, How can I go? If Saul the current king hears about it, he'll kill me. Take a young cow with you. Tell the elders of Bethlehem I've come to offer a sacrifice to the Lord. Invite Jesse to the sacrifice. Then I will show you what to do. You must anoint for me the one I point out to you. <coughs> <coughs> Have you come in peace? Yes, I've come in peace. I'm here to offer a sacrifice to the Lord, but I need some help to do it. Jesse and sons, come on down! Oh. This has to be the one the Lord wants me to anoint for him. But the Lord said no. Do not consider how handsome or tall he is. I have not chosen him. The Lord does not look at the things people look at. People look at the outside of a person, but the Lord looks at what is in the heart. Abinadab comes over, but the Lord hadn't chosen him either. Same for Shammah. Jesse had seven sons walk by, but the Lord hadn't chosen any of them. After that, Samuel asked Jesse, Are these the only sons you have? Jesse says he has one more. Get up and anoint him. This is the one. Samuel anointed David in front of his brothers, and from that day on, the Spirit of the Lord rested within David. No one thought it would be David, because he was much younger than the rest. But he goes on to do tremendous things, because with God, he could do anything. It wasn't David's muscles that made God use him. It was his heart, which is what really matters. Look beyond just what you see and try to find the real value underneath. See you next time, fellas. Thanks, Kellen. Yeah, thanks. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. What is it? My performance was so stirring that you felt inclined to comment? <sighs> Actually, I, I need to... Can you hold on? I, I need to reply to this. Can you go ahead and reveal the question? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I'll reveal the question. The question of the day is... Why is it important to look on the inside? 
Oh no. What's wrong? Anthony Pulitzer has decided to not do my movie. What? But the script is so great, why not? He says we aren't offering enough money. Oh, so he doesn't care that Chef Hugh Cunningham is like the voice of a generation? I guess not. He only cares about the money, not the script. Well, that might not be true. No, he says so right here. I only care about the money, not the script. Oh, well, okay. That's yeah. about as clear as you can get. That's okay, though. You know, I'd rather have someone in it who really cared. Yeah. Someone who showed me how invested they are in it. Yeah? Yeah. One of my closest friends in the world. Oh, Brandon. D you mean it? I sure do, pal. Okay. Uh, until next time, I'm John. And I'm Brandon. And this was the So-and-So Show. See you next time. That's a, not a pizza. That's a piece of pie. Chef, there's an emergency out here. 